Hey, family. Birdie here. I'm still in the dark in my car thinking. So, I wanted to say about control. And a lot of us parents are so used to being behind the wheel of everything. The problem is that we have been in control for so long that we forget that we are not in charge of the journey. But we do have the say in the destination. So, okay, we got a trip coming up. You could plan it. You can go all the way down. You can select, even if you take a GPS, the option to not take highways. You can do toll roads. But honestly, and being honest about this journey, you never really know how the journey is going to be until you get on the road. And I guess that's where I am right now as far as healing is concerned. And the reason why... <clears throat> excuse me, why I push healing because no matter what we planned as parents, we have no control over it. Even now when our kids grew up, we saw the barbecues. We saw the, the, the grandbabies running around. We saw our kids checking in every once in a while, like, hey, this is my life right now. I want to include you. This is step by step by step by step. We thought <laughs> what we thought, and now the journey is completely and totally different from what we thought. And again, we have no control over that. We have no control over the journey, but the destination and the destination changes based off of the journey. The journey of healing that we are all on is all about you. You. And me. <laughs> I don't know. No, I do know what I want to say about where I want to end up with myself and I see myself happy I see myself in love again with life and not languishing and not in anguish and not in hurt and not in sadness but I mean bright skies everything is in color again and knowing what that destination looks like is colors my journey and I hope that it does the same for you I love you I hope for you all of the healing in the world and remember that sometimes no matter how much we are behind the steering wheel we just don't have control over this journey and a lot of the unknown that we are dealing with because it depends so much on the munchkins outside we just don't have control over it. And we have to let go of that that need to control. And because of that, the destination might change. I think maybe sometimes we're afraid of what that looks like. Because we've pictured what it's supposed to look like for so long. But, oh man. If we let go of that control, how the picture would change. And... I always say hope is what we have. Sometimes hope is all we have. And the beauty in that hope changes the destination. It changes the, the brushstrokes of the painting as we form it. And sometimes, as Bob Ross said, there are happy mistakes. And that is always on us and I would love, love, love for us to enjoy the journey. And although it's painful, when you drop the pain, what do you have? If you drop the expectation, 
what do you have? You have so much open road and the journey that is not in our control, but according to the destination, wherever it leads us, use that. Take that road. Understand that it's going to be painful, bumps in the road, all types of construction, reroutes. It's going to be crazy. But the hope in the journey and knowing that we don't have control over what happens because so much depends on it should give you hope. I understand that the hope is a, that makes you fearful. I understand that the hope sometimes feels unrealistic. But if you have an objective and if you have a destination that you want to get to for yourself, not even for your munchkins, this journey feels so much better. And you're in great company. So there's that. Again, I love you. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later.